everybody. It's Miss Sherry. How are you doing? Today we're going to talk about Peter and his apostles being thrown in jail because they were worshiping Jesus. So get your Bibles out and I'm going to read in Acts chapter 5. Now one thing I want to show you is this. This is your craft that's going to be coming this week. Um, Hopefully they'll get in the mail on Monday. So when you get them, you can put those together. And we're going to be talking about this. So one thing I want to tell you is that the apostles, they had experienced power like they had never seen before. More and more people were coming to Jesus and the people were so amazed by what they saw. They even brought the sick out to the streets just so they could get into the shadow of Peter and be healed. Every day, the apostles were going to the temple. Now, Acts 5, starting in 17, um, it says the high priest was not happy. And they were, this high priest wasn't happy about Peter and his apostles preaching in the name of Jesus. In fact, he had the apostles arrested and he had them put in prison. That night, the angel of the Lord came to the prison cell, opened the doors, and brought them out. The angel told them to go back into the temple and preach. So the apostles obeyed and went to the temple in the morning to teach. Meanwhile, the high priests called for the apostles to be brought to him. The guards went to get the prisoners, only to find that they weren't there. The guards were outside the door and no prisoners were inside. The high priest and the others of the council didn't know what to do. They found out that the prisoners were all preaching in the temple again. Well, the captain of the guard brought the prisoners to the high priest without any violence because they were afraid of the people in the temple. The high priest said to them, Didn't we tell you to stop preaching in this name? Peter replied, we ought to obey God rather than man. We are witnesses for Jesus, and we've also been given the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we obey God. The council was furious. They plotted the death of the apostles. They beat them, and then they commanded them to stop preaching in the name of Jesus. But then they let them go. The apostles rejoiced as they left the temple. They were thankful to suffer for Jesus. And the next day, they returned to the temple to preach and teach in the name of Jesus. They were being a light on a hill. Suffering with an attitude of thanksgiving kind of sounds a little crazy to us, doesn't it? These apostles were beaten. They were scolded. People were plotting their deaths, and yet they rejoiced because they were suffering in honor of Jesus. They were thankful to be used by God. You know what a candle looks like when a candle's lit? The, ca the candle is, um, the flame is burning. That's kind of what the apostles were like. They had a flame inside of them that was burning for Jesus, and they weren't going to let anybody whether they were beaten, scolded, they, people were plotting their death, they still had that light inside of them. They still had that Jesus inside of them. When bad times come, you know the light is still inside. Nothing can damper the light that's inside of us, the Jesus that's inside of us. It's hard to be joyful and let our light shine when tough times come our way, isn't it? It's been a little bit tough the last couple of weeks being homebound, not going to school, not going to church. We can't go to the store. Our lights are getting maybe a little bit dim inside. But you know what the light is? The light is Jesus. And he is in you. He is in me. He is in all of us. And his light shines in us. So um, just remember, when the apostles were in jail, they didn't care. They were still praising Jesus. And when we're going through things, we can still praise Jesus because he's with us. Can me Sherry pray for you? Well, Father, I come before you. I thank you, Jesus, that you are the light inside of us. I thank you that 
even when we're going through tough things and we're being tested and we're being tried, that the light inside of us still shines. And I thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus, for being our light inside of us. Help us to help others know you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Love you. Thank you.